I got to play NBA 2K25 early. Yes, you heard me correctly. I played NBA 2K25 already. Now, I played it multiple times already, but I got to play the official release game during the early creator access that they did this year. One of the first times NBA 2K has ever done something like this. And I was able to see the city, the parks, everything you could possibly want to know about NBA 2K25. So I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know before NBA 2K25 in this video. Load up into the city. First of all, when you load up into my career, it's gonna force you to play a overtime game on whatever team you're on in the finals. So you're gonna play, you're gonna win that game, and then you're gonna go off into the actual city where you're able to make your build and all those things. I have to say about this new city on MA2K25 is that it's colorful and I love that. It's so attractive to the eye. It makes the game feel so attractive to watch, but then which then only helps the game feel a lot better to play. I think another thing I noticed that probably was like a direct from my videos is the customization so the customization is not as great as i would love on a my player whether it's the, the physical uh looks on the my player the face scan itself they did add a few new hairstyles and the number one thing that i'm really glad that they did was which was something that i directly quoted in one of my old videos is that at least give us more hair colors specifically like baby pink teal i literally said this in the video and so it's funny that that's exactly what's on nba 2k25 is that they changed it added more hair, hair colors so the number one thing to know about the city on nba 2k25 is the legend rep grind now they brought back the legend rep grind it is still rookie starter veteran legend and top 10 and there's five at each one of those things until you reach legend five and to tell you the truth the rep rewards are lit there are so many rewards at every single one of the reps that you hit and they're all rewarding some of them are even gameplay related and it's a really well thought out you know legend grind this year so the number one thing to remember about the rep rewards is that we get cap breakers now like i called it in my last video you're not touching 15 cap breakers until you hit legend specifically you're getting the first five at starter three the next five at veteran two and the last five at legend one so no matter which way you look at it you're going to have to at least hit legend one in order to have all 15 cap breakers so when you're making your bill at the beginning of the year, make sure you're not making bills that rely on cap breakers to be viable. You are not gonna be able to get the wins and the gameplay that you want if you think you're gonna get cap breakers really fast. Starter three is a long ways away. I watched other creators already playing the park against each other and the reps not moving that fast. I expect most people to not hit all five cap breakers before season one is over. Now, that is the number one thing to know about the rep grind. Number two, when it comes to your affiliations, the only difference between either of the affiliations is the parks. There's no other difference this year other than the parks and then wanting to be a part of the affiliation that's winning the most games. Because the now what we knew as the affiliation boost, two-way tenacity and heat check, are now rep legend rewards. So you will be getting 2A tenacity at starter one. You'll be getting heat check at veteran one. Both affiliations get this at the same time. So there's no difference and there's no difference other than the actual parks themselves. And these two things I thought were really interesting that makes me really wanna grind rep, especially this year. You get metallic body mods at veteran three. Now what I'm assuming that means is that your entire player will be metallic. So gold, silver, uh, whatever other colors they end up coming with, maybe like colorful metallics, which will be really cool probably to look at in the park and play as. So that's gonna be really cool at veteran three. And there's another one of those at Veteran 5, which is the Big Head Body Mod, as well as 150,000 VC, which the Big Head Body Mod sounds like to me, they're making us look like the little Big Head toys that a lot of NBA players have um, that are made after themselves. And that's gonna look really funny to play around in the park. And there's a lot of really cool cosmetic things happening on NBA 2K25 that I'll get into. A lot of them are also as season rewards. Once you get up to Legend 2, you start to get a lot of VC. You get unlimited skill boost at Legend 2 and 250,000 VC. Then you get a limited Gatorade boost at Legend 3 with 500,000 VC. Then you'll be getting a million VC at Legend 4. And I think that's for anyone who hits Legend 4, but the first 100 players to hit Legend 4 will be getting a free copy of NBA 2K26. 
then at legend five you will get 10 million v see they were not playing they were listening to all of us this year we said that we needed more vc they made it really hard to get but if you're someone who's putting in this much time and effort into the game you will never have to worry about vc again which i think is really really cool i don't know if there's necessarily any other legend rewards like we're used to seeing like cosmetically at that point but everything else is already a huge huge w everything that you're going to be earning throughout the entire rep grind is a lot so i don't expect to see much more on top of that the next thing to know is that in the season rewards season rewards look comp this year you're actually getting some cool looking stuff for your bucks it's actually not that bad a reminder that majority of these things these things are actually free and then you can get the extra things on top of it so again seasons is a lot of emotes in vc but there's also coins and then cosmetics you'd actually want to have accessories are no longer plus attributes but they do give you a rep boost so you now can get sleeves that give you a five percent rep bonus which i think is really lit so nothing i feel like fell through the cracks i think a lot of times when nba 2k drops a new 2k it seems like they take something out and something falls through the cracks something becomes null and void but this time i don't really see that happening anywhere on this game everything that you're used to having has either gotten better or has just been changed to something that is equally as good then a reminder that you get max plus one tier two at level 15 and a max plus one at level 30. at level 35 you're getting a 15 percent rep boost off of sleeves and then at the last part of the season you're getting this nice little cool wrestling singlet so that'll help me out when i'm trying to get my uh my zesty player done that's gonna be my number one thing that i'll be using they remember you unlock badge elevators instant plus two at level 40. Here, this actually looks really cool. So they're introducing a new mascot that we've never seen before, which is a plastic action figure mascot, both the regular one in the regular season pass and a glow in the dark one in the premium pass. So I don't know about you guys, but I might be getting the premium pass for season one. I'm not going to cap. That is not me glazing. I just, you know, I'm a cosmetic fiend. I love having all the extra cosmetics. So I'll be probably trying to get the premium season pass at the beginning of the year. So then we go to literally everything else that matters on this game. So again, VC prices are the same price. I went ahead and upgraded a build to level 85 so you guys could see. And you know, this is how much VC is gonna cost. The same as last year, but it still feels like a lot. The My Court is customizable. Right now, we only have a select number of skins, majority NBA skins, and then other types of skins, um, but nothing crazy. But you will earn different skins. I believe they said through quests. So keep an eye out for different quests that let you unlock more my court skins i wonder if the my course will ever end up being completely customizable uh we'll see how that goes i see why they would do skins instead of customization though because people be wilding with the customizations on this game <laughs> so that's probably why they did that now when it comes to everything else in the city as you can see i've been running around the city this whole video letting you guys watch as i run around through the city we do officially have a completely new stage and yep it is the picture that i showed you guys i got a lot of comments saying that other creators were saying that it wasn't the stage but it was definitely the stage we have a new pro-am but the problem that you have at launch is going to be the same pro-am you have to unlock the new pro-am this year by getting ranked and playing ranked pro-am proving grounds looks exactly like the, how the picture looks the parks look really good in real life. The Gatorade gym and the Gatorade uh, facility is outdoors, like we've said before, and it looks good. As you see, I'm running around in it, and shout out to Chris Moon doing his workouts as I'm running around at the Gatorade facility. Here are the courts that will give you an extra 25% rep boost. So again, even though it's not as in the cut as it sounded, it's still in the cut enough and will be present in every single server. So that does still make me concerned about boosters. But other than that, everything looks cool. The views look amazing. The content that's gonna come out of this looks amazing. The feeling of even playing on this game as a casual, just a regular person is gonna look really good. Now, when it comes to your record on NBA 2K25, they confirm that the records will no longer reset every season. And when you go into the city and you look, you can actually see the record for the city, the Pro-Am 3v3 versus 5v5 and the rec. But however, there's not a separate one for Proving Grounds. So in my opinion, that means that Proving Grounds and the stage still count for the city. However, there is a separate, uh, 
completely separate window for proving grounds within your 2k card that shows you your specifically your proving grounds record games played wins and all that kind of stuff so it's separated in the sense that like you have one that is just for proving grounds but i think in total it still counts towards your city record the art of shooting gem is also back in the game so that will be at you know in the city it's directly across from the gatorade gym and that will be where you get your hot spots and your lethal spots again on NBA 2K25. Then let's get into the cosmetics. You know, I love the cosmetics. We go to that score that they mentioned in the, hey, in the course our report and it looks calm. And we start off with Hellstar, Spider and Revenge all in the game, oversized hoodies, oversized shirts real comp looking clothes this is a heaven for me right now i'm like so happy about this then you go into the shoe creator which is they've added a lot of shoes to the shoe creator but specifically new balances are in the shoe creator so i'm really glad 2k is starting to take advantage of the fact that certain shoes and certain sneakers and certain clothing brands that are really popular right now and actually adding them to the game and showing us that you care and you know about true basketball true urban culture when you're making your video game outside of that i think that's pretty much the most important things to know when it comes to all of this so watch my video come see what build i made i'll show you guys how to affect the builder the things you're going to want to look out for in the builder things are very attached it's a very restrictive builder so a lot of builds you saw last year will not be in the game this year a lot of people will be trying their best to finesse the builder but they're pretty much going to be specialized if they can do one thing they probably can't do the other so keep an eye out for that i appreciate anybody who is in this video to this point i'll see you guys in the next one